Hey, what's up, you guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends X Men 97 Wave 2 Jean Grey. I got this figure from BBTS. I didn't initially pre order her when, you know, when it dropped, but she sold out recently and then she came back into stock, and I had to have her. This, you know, this design for Jean Grey has always been one I wanted in figure form. And I just, you know, saw X Men 97, the first two episodes, and they are great. I absolutely love the show so far. I'm really liking the show. And. Uh, we don't see Jean Grey in this suit just yet. Uh, we only see her like this in a dream sequence. But, yeah. So let's get to it and crack her open. And before we take a look at the figure, let's take a closer look at her accessories. She comes out of the box with these two hands. She comes with one fisted hand and then this one right open flat hand. It's, you know, it's more straight. It's flatter. It's, I think this is like her telekinesis hand. But you can pop these out and you can put in these more open splayed out hands you know these are cool options but again it would have been nice you know to have you know even sets of hands like i would prefer even sets of these hands and then even sets of fists but it's cool to have the option nonetheless also out of the packaging she comes with the you know ponytail head which looks nice this is my you know mental image of Jean gray we can pop this out and then you can have her longer hair look, which is a really nice option because she's been depicted with both looks. But in the show, she uh, the one time we do see her in this suit, she does have the long hair. But, you know, for me, I'm most likely just I'm definitely just going to keep her with the ponytail. That's for sure. Now, let's take a closer look at Jean Grey herself. You know, we already took a look at the head here. You know, it's the, you know, the ponytail look. This is my more mental image of Jean Grey. And then taking a look at the bodysuit. It's, you know, it's a very simple look. You know, it's that classic animated series look. This is a new body. This is all new sculpting, which is really nice to see. This isn't reused from that Love Triangle 3-pack version. So it's nice to see that this has new sculpt work to it. Again, this is new sculpting, so we have new legs here. And I do like the designs here. You know, I like the lines that we have going down the legs and, you know, the boots here. It would have been nice to see some blue, you know, in this the leg area because it's just all yellow. But this is accurate to the show, so I'm not complaining too much. Taking a quick look at the arms, they look really nice. I like these blue patches here. Again, we get these arm guards that are sculpted onto the arms, not a separate piece like the previous Jean Grey, so that's really cool to see. Like the belt here, you know, again, it's just sculpted onto the body, which is really nice to see. I just like the colors of this figure a lot. Now let's take a closer look at her articulation. Starting off with the head, you're gonna get more motion out of the ponytail head opposed to the long haired head. So her head can look up that much, can look down, you can tilt and rotate. And the ponytail is a separate piece, and you can rotate it. But it does come off very easily, so be careful with that. This thing keeps popping off on me. It would have been better if it were a ball joint instead of just a little peg. But you can rotate the ponytail however way you'd like, which is cool to see. Shoulders move up that much. They move down. They do rotate 360. She's got a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. And her wrists can rotate and hinge. I didn't see this coming with the figure, but she does have a um, a dumbbell joint or a ball joint at the waist. So you can, you, know, you can crunch back that much. You can crunch forward that much. You, know, you can rotate, and there goes the ponytail. You can rotate, pivot. You, know, you get some good motion out of it. Leg kicks out that much. It can kick back, not so much. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees and ankles that move down, up, and they do have ankle pivot. Measuring her out, she comes to around six and a quarter inches tall. Here she is next to two other X-Men 97 figures. We have Cyclops from Wave 2 and then w Wave 1 Wolverine. And I gotta say, she looks really good with both of them. And then here she is next to two other X-Ladies. We have the Retro Card Storm and the Retro Carded Rogue. And I might get the X-Men 97 versions of both of them just to do a head swap between the two. I... I I definitely need a new Storm. I mean, I like this one. It's just, she's just really wobbly in the neck and then the legs. So getting an updated body would 
definitely help with that. And here's Jean Grey up on the rotating base. And I have to say this figure's pretty cool. It's not the best, but it's cool. Like, I'm very happy to have this, you know, incarnation of Jean Grey in action figure form. I've always liked this suit. This, you know, I've been trying to finish my X-Men the Animated Team for a long time. And having her in this suit just, you know, makes me happy to have. And, you know, with the new, new sculpting everywhere is cool. I'm not the biggest fan of the long-haired, you know, head sculpt. It's cool to have. It's just not my preference. I, I always prefer the ponytail. But overall, it's a really good figure. Again, it's not the best, but it's good. I like the hands. I wish she just came with an even set of those, you know, a fist and the other open hand that she has. But overall, the accessories you get with this figure is nice. She comes with an alternate head, which is very, really nice to see as well. Like, you don't get many accessories when it comes to these, you know, retro, these retro waves. And wave two seems to be a, you know, a banger, to be honest. I... I kind of want to get more of these. I want to get that Magneto from from both Wave 1 and 2. And maybe even, you know, Nightcrawler from Wave 2. So, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of getting back into Marvel Legends when I shouldn't be. But, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of getting back into the Marvel Legends game. But overall, this is a pretty cool figure. And I'm just happy to have it in my collection. Because I've been trying to complete this team for the longest time. And yeah, um, I can't even find my Gambit. I've been trying, I tried finding my Gambit. I took like 20 minutes trying to find him in my basement. Cannot, I know he's in the house somewhere, but I will find him somewhere. If I don't, I will have to get the new X-Men 97 one. But yeah, yeah, I've been trying to complete this team. So having Jean Grey is a nice addition. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review because I enjoyed this figure. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.